This is Alaska. Nope. That's enough of that. So almost a year ago, I made a video titled How to be the main character in your life. I can't bear to watch it because it makes me cringe so bad that I would literally rather run into a glass door. But you guys seem to like it, so welcome to part two. So in part one, I started with setting the scene, which I still think is a good place to start. I feel like you'd assume that to feel like the main character, you'd have to like travel to all these amazing places and like go on all these fancy trips when that couldn't actually be further from the truth. Because when you think about it, in TV shows and movies, like they rarely actually go to like more than a few different locations. Like in like Friends, for example, yeah, they like go to London at one point, but for the most part, they just stay in like their apartments and Central Perk and it never gets boring or repetitive because they're just like iconic locations, you know? So no, you don't need to travel far and wide to feel like your life is interesting. Just decide on your specific iconic locations. In Iceland, they have officially designated enchanted places and we don't have that here, so I make my own. Obviously we've got my bedroom, my safe place, my happy place, my favorite place in the world. One of them used to be the invisible bridge in Western Supermare in the brief season of my life when I moved to university. The chapter one cafe in Manchester, the bench outside the Imperial War Museum. That one's random, don't ask, I don't know either. And the trailer where I go to watch the sunset. So while we're here, I'm gonna tell you guys about a playlist that you guys should all make. And that is basically a playlist of background music for your life, like the soundtrack to your life. So just like chill music, or you could even find like soundtracks or films that you want your life to like vibe with and literally just like play it in the background when you're just doing like boring tasks and it will literally make you feel like you're in a movie. Or you can just use mine if you want, I'll link it in the description and I will show you guys a few songs from that right now. <laughs> I'm just gonna walk past I'm gonna look crazy. <laughs> This song is from the Paper Town soundtrack and it literally makes me feel like I'm in that movie and that's like one of my favorite films of all time. Okay, OG viewers of this channel remember this song. Oh my god. your only enchanted place so far is your bedroom, you can at least find ways to like spice it up a little bit and make it more movie-esque, I guess. You could move all your furniture around and paint your walls like I did in part one, or you could just add a couple little decorations. One of my new favorite things to do, which also like doubles up as like a main character, like self-care kind of activity to do is buy yourself flowers. So the thing with buying flowers is that I love buying like real flowers. I was thinking in general, like real plants give such a better vibe than fake ones. But the issue is obviously with real flowers, they die in like a week. So solution, if like me, you like real flowers, but wish that they lasted longer, I present to you Rose Forever New York. This is not sponsored, but these were gifted to me. So thank you very much. These right are real red roses, but they are meant to last for like a year. 
Don't ask me the size behind that, I couldn't tell you. But I've already had them for a couple weeks and they still look as fresh as when I got them, so they must be onto something. These are quite pricey, I'm not gonna lie, but for one thing, if you consider the fact that like normal roses, you'd have to replace like once a week, so kind of adds up. But also, you can use my code for $20 off your order, so you're welcome. So now that we've sorted out locations and we've built the movie sets, now we can focus on the character design. And like any good memorable character, you're gonna need to decide your signature things. So like, I don't know, like, um, I don't know, like three years ago, me and my sister were in Manchester, right? And we decided that we would just like walk through like the really fancy part of the city, like where all like the proper expensive shops are that like we're definitely not rich enough to shop in or even just like be in for that matter but we were like let's just act like we belong and in one of those shops then some guy came over and gave us a bunch of perfume samples and so we went to like a cafe, in fact it was chapter one cafe, one of my enchanted places and we were going through all the perfume samples and my favourite was Prada candy. I was so obsessed with it but obviously it's tiny little samples so I used it for like a week straight and then I was like almost run out so I was like okay I need to like savour the last few drops and only use it for special occasions and so I just like shoved it in the pocket of one of my bags and it was there for like three years until I found it like a week ago and I smelt it again and oh my god the wave of nostalgia this gives me literally smells like 16 year old me in the least creepy way possible and for ages I've like wanted to find you know my signature scent because I feel like that's just a very you know got my life together kind of thing to do, you know? And so I took this as my sign and I bought an entire bottle of it. Which tip, if you're buying perfume, then have a look on Depop or Vinted first because I literally got this brand new, like literally still in all the packaging for like half the price I would have been if I bought it from like an actual place, so you're welcome. And now I feel like, you know, in like films and books when they like describe what the person smells like, like in Looking for Alaska, how she smells like cigarettes and Mountain Dew and wine and chapstick, like I wanted a specific smell and now it is this. If you ever wondered what I smell like, it's this and like tea probably. Does anyone else remember those like starter pack memes where it'd be like a character or a celebrity or like, I don't know, an aesthetic and it'd be like all the signature things like around it? Well, next tip is to make one of those for yourself. Not literally, unless. Okay, yes, I actually do literally make one because it was so fun to make. And if you do, send me it on Instagram because, oh my god, I actually do. <gasps> okay, I actually just thought of that. But if you actually do make one, please send it me on Instagram so I can, like, get to know you guys, like, through that. <gasps> That'd be so fun. I will literally cry. Oh my god. But if you don't want to actually make one, at least just, like, think about or, like, make a bullet point list or something of, like, all your signature things that you think people associate with you. Like, if there's, like, an item of clothing that you always wear or a certain hairstyle that you always wear or, I don't know, like, your favourite song or a hobby that you do if you, like, play an instrument or a sport or something. And if you can't think of anything, then decide what you want people to associate with you and make it happen. Let me know in the comments if there's anything else that you associate with me that I haven't included on mine because, like, I'm genuinely curious, like, how I'm perceived, I guess. <laughs> so on mine, I've got like my wall, this cardigan that I wear like 24 hours of the day, my smiley face middle fingers, Stargirl, which is my favorite book and my favorite film and I have a tattoo of, my Toy Story phone case and just Pixar obsession in general. In fact, I actually just bought this Pizza Planet wallet and it is my new favorite thing in the entire world. And if you haven't seen my last video, you might be wondering why there is a ladybird on there, which leads me to my last point, which is having signs from the universe. So like a year and a half ago, I decided that ladybirds were gonna be my like sign from the universe, that like something good was about to happen. I don't really remember why I picked ladybirds. I was just trying to think of something that like I see pretty rarely. So my friend Amanda Wright, you already know her, we love her. After she watched my last video where I explained how ladybirds were my sign from the universe, she bought me this little bag of glass ladybird beads, literally the cutest thing I've ever seen in my life. And I decided that I was gonna turn them into wish bracelets, which if you don't know what wish bracelets are, they are basically bracelets or literally just like, literally you could use like a piece of string and you make a wish on it and then tie it on your wrist. And then eventually once it breaks, it's your sign that it's about to come true. But right, the thread that I used for it, I used clear like plastic thread. And so because it's invisible, it just looks like there's a ladybird walking on my arm all the time. And not only that, but when you put it over my Glimmer of Hope tattoo, it looks like legs. So thank you very much for these, Amanda. I love them and I love you. But anyway, that was a very long story. The point is though to like, decide on like what you want to be your like sign from the universe, something that you like don't see very often, but like, occasionally do like ladybirds because right then when you eventually see it for one thing you'll be like me in the universe 
like this like you'll literally feel like the universe revolves around you which it basically does and it will just make you feel like you're at the dramatic suspenseful like ending of an episode and you like need to watch the next episode to see what's about to happen so maybe that's just me but it's pretty fun and there we have part two i hope you enjoyed it i hope it was less cringe than part one if you have any more ideas or tips leave them in the comments subscribe and follow all my social media down in the description and i will see you guys in the next one bye